Even though the player is shown in his new uniform, the transfer isn't finalised until the club makes an official statement. Both Manchester United and Chelsea have been the recipients and the snatchers of players from their fiercest rivals. Here are a few famous examples of players who had already agreed to sign with one team before switching allegiances at the last minute. Because of the nature of football as a competitive game, it's not a terrible idea to try and get an advantage over your opponents. Clubs' efforts to advance to the finals of major tournaments and ultimately win such events are indicative of this. Hello and welcome to Goalside. In today's video, we are going to talk about 10 incidents when rivals' clubs hijacked a transfer deal. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notifications. So without wasting any time, let's dive right into the video. The transfer market is another area of the sport where competition is fierce. Each summer and winter, clubs compete with one another to make the best bargains possible. Because of this, they frequently gain an advantage over competitors and even steal business from one another. Many of the transfers that have taken place in the last few decades have been so well executed that onlookers can hardly believe they were possible. Unfortunately, we didn't find out about some of them until days or weeks after they were finished. David Silva in 2020, Silva was expected to make a move to Lazio for free following 10 successful years with Manchester City. A medical examination was scheduled for Rome. Despite calls from the Serie A club, the Spain international allegedly signed a two-year contract with Real Sociedad. Igli Tare, sporting director at Lazio, said, I learned about David Silva's transfer to Real Sociedad in a statement posted on the club's website. It's the player, not the man, that I admire. Malcolm Roma announced that they signed an agreement with Bordeaux to bring Malcolm to the club in 2018. When the winger didn't show up at the airport, it was a letdown for the Roma fans who'd been waiting for him. The Ligue 1 club backed out of their contract with Roma when Barcelona offered them a better offer at the last minute. Malcolm's representative said the U-turn was revenge because Roma signed another client, goalkeeper Daniel Fusato, through another agent. Roma's sporting director Monchi threatened legal action against Bordeaux. John Obi Mikel In 2005, Manchester United introduced Mikel as one of their players during a press conference, but Chelsea later claimed they had a deal with Mikel's agent. United requested an investigation by the Premier League into the situation, and the two English powerhouses fought in court for a whole year over the issue. Despite having to pay their opponents £12 million in compensation, the Blues were able to acquire their man once the Red Devils decided to cancel their contract. When Chelsea stole a player from Manchester United, it was a classic example of the club beginning to demonstrate its authority in football. Jorginho Napoli's Serie A championship run from a few years back was largely due to the contributions of this midfielder. Under Maurizio Sarri's direction, the Italian was used as a deep-lying playmaker and excelled at distributing the ball in all directions. After seeing Jorginho play for Inter Milan, Manchester City manager Pep Guardiola expressed interest in bringing him to the Etihad Stadium. A contract had been reached with the Serie A heavyweights and everything was moving forward smoothly until Chelsea got in the way. The Blues made a sudden overture and to everyone's amazement, they were able to quickly persuade the player to make the switch to Samford Bridge. Jorginho couldn't pass up the chance to play for his favourite coach in London. The London club paid Manchester City an all-time record £57 million to acquire his services, dealing the club one of its greatest blows in recent years. Ronaldinho In addition to being one of the best players of all time, the colourful Ronaldinho was also the most entertaining celebrity of his age. Younger supporters of Manchester United will be disappointed to find that the dazzling Brazilian playmaker could have settled at Old Trafford instead of Camp Nou after agreeing to join the Premier League giants in a conversation with then-manager Sir Alex Ferguson. The midfielder's flashy play for Paris Saint-Germain in the French League has already garnered him international attention. Several major European clubs were vying for his signing, but United ultimately emerged on top. It looked like everything was going to work out fine. The Brazilian needed only another two days to seal the deal. Despite David Beckham's rejection of Barcelona and subsequent signing with Real Madrid, he ultimately decided to join the Catalan club because of a promise he made to the club's then-president, Sandro Rossell. Before Rosell became president, he and Ronaldinho, who had been friends while Rosell was working for Nike in Brazil, discussed the player's future and decided he would join the Catalan club. The addition of Ronaldinho proved to be a brilliant acquisition, as Barca quickly regained their position as Europe's best team. Cristiano Ronaldo For months, rumours had circulated that Arsenal was interested in signing the promising young Portuguese player. Arsene Wenger was dead set on signing him to play for the Gunners at the Emirates Stadium. 
Alex Ferguson, manager of Manchester United, also saw the player's potential and was adamant about acquiring his services. The London club had been in the driver's seat to recruit the talented Portuguese winger until the Red Devils swooped in to throw a wrench in their plans. United outbid their competitors in the nick of time, snatching away the future legend. After establishing himself at Old Trafford, Ronaldo went on to win the Ballon d'Or and the Champions League before moving on to greater things with Real Madrid. Romelu Lukaku Romelu Lukaku, Belgian striker, has been added to the list. Even though it happened only a few years ago, this transfer scam ranks up there with the worst of the disastrous hijack deals in football. Chelsea has the best record of any Premier League club when it comes to hijacking deals, but that hasn't stopped them from becoming the victims in the past. The Blues' transfer was hijacked just a couple of summers ago. After being transferred to Everton and spending a few years at Goodison Park, Romelu Lukaku appeared poised for a return to Stamford Bridge. Despite the Blues' best efforts, Lukaku ended up signing with Manchester United, dealing a devastating blow to the team that had tried so hard to sign him. Robinho When playing against the Blues, the citizens had been victorious before as well. The Premier League powerhouse's first major signing after the Abu Dhabi ownership came 10 years ago and it cost Chelsea the player in question. Robinho, a Brazilian forward for Real Madrid, was seeking a way out of the Santiago Bernabeu at the time. Chelsea had initiated contract talks with the player and things were moving along smoothly. The Blues made the announcement that they had reached an individual agreement with Robinho. Even as his visit was anticipated, his fans had t-shirts printed with his name on them. Alexis Sanchez after moving to Arsenal from Barcelona in the summer of 2014, Alexis Sanchez made an immediate impact in the Premier League, swiftly becoming the club's best player. Sanchez quickly became a fan favourite, and his continued presence at the Emirates Stadium was anticipated with great joy by Gunners fans. However, he ultimately cut their hopes short when he opted to end his stay in North London. The Gunners and City couldn't come to terms on transfer fees and the player's salary, despite City being the frontrunner in the race to sign him. Manchester United, the citizens' crosstown rivals, stepped in while they were still making their offer and convinced the player to join them at Old Trafford. The other player was Henrik Mkhitaryan, who the Red Devils handed over as a trade incentive. Alfredo Di Stefano it is widely accepted that Alfredo Di Stefano is among the best football players of all time. Before Cristiano Ronaldo arrived, he held the record for the most goals scored by a Real Madrid player. The Argentine icon stayed at the Santiago Bernabeu for as long as 11 years, during which time he led Los Blancos to five European Cups, now the Champions League, eight La Liga crowns and one Spanish Cup. He passed away in 2014, yet he will always be regarded as a brilliant football player. There was another possible outcome to the story. Di Stefano was able to keep his registration when he moved from River Plate in Argentina to Milanarios in Colombia. Reports state that Barcelona initiated contract negotiations with both South American clubs in 1953. But when the clubs failed to reach an agreement, Barcelona moved on to River Plate, which led to the player's eventual relocation to Spain and appearance in a friendly game for the Catalan Giants. Later issues allowed Madrid to jump in and secure a deal with the attacker, making Barca's decision to bypass Milanarios disastrous. The president of Barca resigned as a result of the embarrassing situation. What do you think about these 10 incidents where rival clubs hijacked a transfer deal? Tell us in the comments. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon with the next video. Thank you so much for watching.